Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over the simplicity of the one column web page layout. Some of the most popular websites are one column layouts. I've got a couple examples here. Um, this is Zipcar, a uh, nationwide service for basically a car sharing program. And I like their site. It often comes up as a simple but good looking sites but it is it's a good example of a nice one column layout for a large national company there's not a huge number of menu items it's very easy to scroll down of course if you're on a, a, a tablet or an iPhone you especially appreciate this particular format and it's a great example of simplicity in a one column layout the other one here this is cup of yo it's a small little yogurt chain here in uh, central Oregon but uh, any small business can benefit from a nice little one column layout. They don't need lots of information. A lot of businesses really just need to get their name out there, the you know, hours, their location, maybe some coupons or promos, that kind of stuff, but easily served by a one column layout. And of course, even bigger one, uh, Redbox, you know, the video and game uh, vending machines, basically. And even though there's a lot going on on here, I want you to think of this as a one column layout. Even if you might start to argue and say, hey, that clearly looks like three columns right in here, or this clearly looks like two columns, I still want you to think of this as a one column layout where there are sections where there are two columns. So when in doubt, go simpler. Try to build your pages as simple as possible. Visitors don't leave websites because they are too simple. Okay, they can leave them because they are too complicated. So always go simple. And let's check this out here. So I've got a new blank page set up and there's nothing on it, no styles or anything like that. But it's super easy to make a one column layout. Now I am going to create an outer wrapper. Okay, and I want to do this all the time, every single page, make is going to have some kind of outer container or wrapper and you're going to use this to kind of set some parameters whether you're doing a fixed design or flexible design some kind of outer container is going to come in handy and within this I'm just going to have a few key sections let's make sure I've got plenty of room here so that you can see this I'll zoom in a little bit more I'm going to have a header I'm going to have a main content area. And I'm going to have a footer. There you go. That is the HTML for pretty much any one column layout. And of course, we can add a little bit to the complexity with this, but I don't want you to think that it's tough to do, tough to write somewhere I've got there's my the bottom of my page so that's the HTML for our one column layout now for the styling doesn't have to be complicated I am going to throw in a quick reset rule and then I'll set my wrapper limitations depending on kind of do I want to do a fixed layout or not and I'm pretty sure our good folks over at Zipcar they do a fixed layout if I resize, I can kind of see their main column is staying fixed. So yes, it is. And if I use my little measuring device, I can see that their container is approximately 945 pixels wide. So yeah, we could do that with ours too. Main wrapper with 945 pixels wide. And of course, to center it, margin spelled properly. I'll do zero pixels on the top and bottom, auto margins on the left and the right, and uh, it takes care of that. So that's going to be our wrapper. And then I've got these three main parts, my header, my, my main content, and my footer. My header, just so we can see it, I'll put a background color in there. And I'm going to give it a little bit of height so we can see it also. I'll just do 60 pixels. Scroll up a little so you can see this. My main content. Once again, a little background color so we can see that. 
and I'm also going to put in some height so that it looks a little bit more realistic. I'll do 400 pixels. In real life, I would not be putting in heights in these. I would let the content dictate the height. The content will stretch a block vertically as big as it needs to be. So in real life, I would never use height. Now I might use min height. That could be something reasonable to start off with, doing a min height property so that we can kind of see where these things are going. In fact, I'll change that to 100. And of course, last but not least is our footer. I'll just do a little copy paste. Footer, and we'll do background color of red. Min height 100 is fine. Save this, check it out in Chrome. There's our basic layout. And I can see that my height for my header is not working, so I must have made a typo in there somewhere. Let's see. Oh, there it's my HTML. Did you catch that? I didn't type my closing header tag properly. The CSS was written OK, so now refresh. So that is our one column layout. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Information you want your visitors to see in a nice, simple layout.